Hey, what's up, guys? It's Nick, aka Nick D Drum Skills, here again with Mike the Hero. Um, once again, one day closer to the re to the epic release. All right. So this is day four, and today we're going to be going over multiplayer, sort of in general, um, maps, guns, and you know, just overall basics, uh, numbers of things that are going to be in it, uh, equipment, stuff like that. So, um, first off, let's go over game modes, because we haven't talked about that yet. Um, confirmed game modes so far, and I'm, uh, I'll sh once again give you guys a reference video for this. It's the same one as always. Um, confirmed game modes are Team Deathmatch, Free For All, Search and Destroy, Domination, Headquarters, Demolition, Capture Flag, and Sabotage. Um, pretty much all the basics everyone's played before, um, keeping Demolition from, uh, Modern Warfare 2, and uh, supposedly there's supposed to be some playlists like Bare Bones and stuff that will that will be coming back, um, but I guess we'll find out uh, the day it comes out, if uh, new patches come out for that stuff, and uh, if they keep updating it and whatnot. Um, so next off, we're going to jump into guns and uh, let you guys know the exact guns that are for sure in the game, uh, so I don't, why don't you do this part, Mike, since you haven't really talked much lately. So uh, first up is the sub, so Mike's going to go through the guns with you guys. Alright guys, so on the guns on we got on the subs, we got the uh, coming and returning for another round of killing is the MP5K. Um, I think they had a thing about MP5, but I don't know. Uh, then we got also got the coming back from COD 4 is the Scorpion. Uh, I'm definitely proud to use that because, I mean not proud, but yeah, it's an awesome gun. Uh, I liked it from COD 4. Uh, then we got Mac 11. Um, it's your typical, I think it's your typical gangster gun. I don't know, I just, uh, yeah. Uh, then we got returning from COD 4 once again, the AK-74U. Uh, we got the Uzi, um, the PM, is that the PMC? PMW? I don't know. Um, just another, you know, PMK, it's just another machine gun. Um, submachine gun. Oh, we got the Spectra, Spectra? Oh, the MPL. Oh, sorry. The, with the MPL and that, um, that looks pretty sick. I like the, uh, under barrel that they're putting on the guns, they're like it's the hole for the uh, so it so it doesn't blow up the gun or whatever. Uh, I I'm not exactly into that sort of thing, but uh, yeah, it's Spectre. Um, all Spectre. Um, what I've been noticing about all these guns and submachine guns, they don't seem to have that much of a difference on the Cape Parrot. It's Kipris. He's bad at commentating. Sorry, guys. <laughs> it's Kipris, dude. Overall, unfortunately, with all the subs, they look very really similar, so hopefully it'll be different. But anyways, um, why don't you retry bringing off the assault rifle this time? Um, so we got the M16 returning from all the Call of Duties. Um, the Enfield, which I personally like from, I think it's Rainbow Six, Rainbow Six Vegas 2, and that's a really good gun. Uh, the M14 is returning from COD 4. Seems like they're bringing back a lot of COD 4 guns, which is always a good thing. Uh, we got, is that... Famas, all right, all right. Famas, um, obviously it's a typical uh, gun coming back for another round. Uh, oh, full auto, all right. Well, what's that gun? Galil, all right. I believe the I believe the Galil is like a it's like a G3 in the G3 G3 family or something like that. Uh, up after that, it's the AUG or the AUG, um, regular assault rifle version. Yeah, not the. Um, not the LMG version. Uh, then we have the FN uh, FAL, AK-47 making a return, Commando. Yeah, I love this gun from Rainbow Six Vegas too. If you ever use it, it's an awesome gun. The Commando? Oh, okay. I see. I never knew actually knew about this gun until uh, this, but yeah. Uh, and then last up is G11, which is a very strange looking gun, but uh, it's pretty cool. It looks like a rocket. <laughs> it looked like I made a school project for a book. Of summary thing and it looks exactly like the terrible gun. Oh Jesus. Um, next up we got the uh, shotguns. Shotguns, uh, the Olympia which is a double barrel. Um, the uh, what is that? I think the stakeout looks like. Yeah it's a pump action. Spas 12 which is now semi-auto similar to like the MP, uh, M1014 style if you guys you know want to know what it's like. And they have the uh, HS10, and I believe that was semi-auto. Let me double check. Yeah, semi-auto. A lot of semi-autos, only a couple double, double barrels. Uh, then next up, we have the uh, LMGs, and uh, they have the HK21, 
RPK, which is very similar to RPD. Uh, the M60, which is a really beast gun, and then the uh, looks like it's a Stoner Stoner Steiner 63. I'm not sure what it is. And then the uh, sniper rifles are the Dragonov um, WA2000 or Wazoo or Watu K. <laughs> a lot of people call it. Uh, then the L96A1, and then the PSG1. And Dragonov is still semi-auto. Uh, WA2000 is obviously semi-auto. L96A1 is the bolt action and then PSG1 semi auto. So unfortunately, once again, only one bolt action rifle, which is, yeah, that sucks. Um, next up, attachments. The attachments available, and it looks like it's available for all guns. Uh, why don't you read them off, Mike? Um, it says we have the extended mags attachment, uh, the ACOG sight, the infrared scope, the suppressor, and the vertical zoom? Variable, sorry. Yeah, and that's basically a multi zoom if you guys didn't know. Um, and the new neat part to me is all the new camos are adding. Uh, there's now 16 in the slot, including a lot of awesome style camos, such as uh, just tiger camo. They got red camo, which I'm looking for because I like the red color. Um, and a lot more cooler stuff. Just looking, um, just looking through the camos. Um, so they're giving you, as you can see, not just the attachments, now you have so much more customization to go around in the game. Um, so to me, customization has always been a good thing in games. I've never had a problem with it. Uh, Tiger especially is one of my cooler looking camos. Being that's like an orange and actual tiger. Yeah, that looks like my favorite camo so far. Like that's the one I'm going to buy. And I love uh, how you can buy things in this game. Um, What's after the tiger? Oh, Berlin, Warsaw. Yeah, it looks like it's is that uh, Siberia, Yukon, Woodlands. What is that? Flora, and then oh, gold. Gold makes a return. Gold makes a return. Oh uh, yeah, for all guns now, which is pretty pretty beast. Um, clan tag still available. It looks like you'll it's gonna be uh, the uh, four. Um, what do you call it? Uh, Still four, uh, four letters or numbers, and then emblems. And emblems are no longer um, like unlockable things. They're just uh, when you call them. Um, the, you just you just make them. You just make whatever kind of zones. You have like hundreds of designs, and then uh, yeah, you just make them. So why don't you go over the secondaries, Mike, right now? One quick add-in is uh, the awesome thing about the uh, clan tags is that if you don't know, it's on your gun now, which is really unique and cool. Um, so for the secondaries, we got the pistols only now. Yeah, pistol only, right? All right, all right, all right. But um, no more shotgun secondaries, which uh, I don't really know. What it's pretty cool, but whatever. Uh, so all right, you got semi-auto. You got the ASP. You got the M M1911 semi. All pistols are pretty much semi-auto. Um, so you got the Macrovs, which are Kimbo too. Uh, I think all of them are can be a Kimbo now. Uh, you got the Python, which is basically your new revolver. Uh, and the C275, um, yeah, it's a semi-auto, honestly. Um, and so now, for your attachments, you got upgraded iron sights, which is very cool. Extended mags, dual wield, as I said, and suppressor. Uh, I just got the nuke, but uh, yeah. I mean, it's so, um, what's after that? Next secondaries? Oh, your secondaries are only pistols. But I think you still can get launchers, I don't know. I'm not really sure right now, I'm sort of watching the video. Uh, lethal um, uh, grenades are now your frag, semtex, and tomahawk is considered part of it, so... <laughs> Interesting, it's not any uh, equipment anymore, it's a, uh, that. Uh, tactical grenades are um, the Willy Pete, which is a smokescreen grenade. Um, the Nova Gas, which is basically just gas that apparently blurs your vision and movement and stuff. You got the uh, flashbang, um, the concussion grenade, which is like stun, and then decoy, which actually looks really cool because it, it sort of makes red dot on the map and stuff. Yeah. So, anyways, uh, let's see if there's anything really quick. Oh, equipment. Camera spike, C4, tactical insertion, jammer, motion sensor, and claymore. Um, but the uh, cool thing about tactical insertion now, even though it's kind of a drawback, um, they are not uh, available in map and certain things like free for all. So, anyways, guys, that was like pretty much all the weapons and a lot of uh, multiplayer overview coverage. So, uh, 
Next up, we're talking about zombies, and then the one after that is going to be um, uh, the campaign. And then after that, we're going to do a special video, and you guys will be able to check that when it comes out. So anyways, uh, we'll uh, see you guys next video. Later. Alright guys, see you in the next video. We're so close. Woo!